the Kumba Mela has come to town the astrologers have declared it a propitious time for the holding of a great fair a Mela in celebration of the Kumba the magical elixir of life millions of pilgrims have travelled here to the banks of the life-giving Shipra River in hot dusty ancient Ujjain in central India hundreds of miles from the coast where the temperature has reached 40 degrees Celsius over 100 degrees Fahrenheit The history of Ujjain goes back several thousand years, a fact hinted at in the narrow roads and lanes of the old town. The history of the Kumbh Mela goes back even further in time, so many historians suspect. Every 12 years, the period of Jupiter's journey around the Sun, the Kumbh Mela comes to Ujjain. It is a gathering of the tribes which may go back to Stone Age time. What is your name? My this name is David. This is the Fuskar. Your name is? No, 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 no. Just tell me your name. No, no. Fuskar. 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 And you are a psychedelic sign, huh? No, no, no. no. Fuskar. Change around too much light. Yeah. That is good. The crowds gather at the Sheepra River, reenacting the old ritual of washing away the past. Over the course of April and May, some 15 million pilgrims will make their way here to the bathing ghats to bathe, to receive the blessings of the holy men, the sadhus, to emerge from their remote dwellings in forests and mountains into the full view of humanity. There is the atmosphere of the fair as the crowds move along the riverside ghats. It is a social occasion as well as a time of pilgrimage. Here there is bustle, noise, colour and of course the sacred sheep river bringing welcome relief in the heat of the day. Pause on the ghats and you can witness the simple ritual of the washing away of the past just as once the tribes gathered here to wash and exchange news during their long wandering around the subcontinent. I don't think too much has changed. Offerings are made at the Riverside Temple where the temple priest sits marked out by his sacred red scarf. The crowds walk past the temple steadily and energetically caught up in the atmosphere. The singular figure of a barefoot sadhu carrying his single metal container stands out in the crowd.
In the searing heat of the afternoon, the sadhus gather in a temple's grounds, away from the tumult of the passing throng. temperature has dropped to more bearable levels and washing continues in earnest by the river sheep run. to sing the praises of creation. Shaven-headed Sadhu prepares for his initiation into the sacred ways. Inside the temple, all is mystery and strange otherworldly sounds. Sadhu, lithe and perfectly fit, receives a tribute of a pilgrim who recognises his advanced achievements. He notices the camera and calls me over. 